portion of this video is sponsored by Instax. Hi guys, welcome back to the Sorry Girls. My name is Kelsey, and today we're gonna to tackle some DIY gifts. I'm excited, these are some good, solid ideas that you can easily and affordably recreate for your loved ones or family, or maybe even yourself. Let's get cozy. Should we make some tea? I think we should make some tea. So first up, we're going to tackle some really easy coasters. For this one, you're gonna need some tile. I have this glass tile here, but of course you can use basically any kind of tile, just nothing that has a pattern because we're like texture. Because then your glass won't stick still. Obviously, if you can find tiles that are already cut to size, that would be more ideal. My glass, I need to cut to size. So I'm just going to measure it out and use my tile cutter here. If you guys have never used a tile cutter, it is, Pretty simple, but honestly, I've never used one either, so we're gonna learn this together. When we did our kitchen, I was in charge of putting up the tile, Becky was in charge of cutting the tile, so. To use this, all you do is score it and snap it. Score and snap. Score and snap. We're gonna sand this down so that it's not sharp. And if you already found square tiles, you're a step ahead of the rest of us. Now the next step is the fun step because we get to decorate. I'm going to be using Armor Edge to decorate. This is like a glass etching cream that we've definitely used before. I love using it, it's such an easy product to use. You just gotta wear some gloves when you use it and be careful. I have decided to do a checkered pattern because I don't know about you guys, but I've been really loving everything check right now. And I'm not ready to bring in a checkered rug in my home, but a checkered coaster, we could do that. I'm just gonna use some masking tape and I'm just going to place a bunch of sheets one way, just butting up against each other. And then we do the exact same thing going the other way. You guys should let me know in the comments down below which and what design you would do on your coasters. But yeah, I was also looking up sassy quotes, but I feel like sassy quotes, that's a, that's a whole nother level. The only one I had was live long and fester. That's not even funny. I'm ashamed of myself, honestly. Okay, now that everything's covered, I'm gonna take my utility knife, and then I can just go ahead and cut out kind of like every other square. This should be pretty straightforward once you start going. Um, and then the key to this is that you just wanna put on a very thick layer. So I'm gonna make sure that all my tape is pushed down. Your glass should be clean, or your mirror. You can use this with mirror. I've used this to make like etch on a cup. Made a Father's Day gift once. It's time to head over to the sink and we're just gonna quickly rinse these off. So if you're doing this and when you're rinsing off your etching cream, you realize that it doesn't look like it's etched, just give it a second, it has to dry and then once it's dry, it's gonna look a little bit more matte. And then we can take off all of our tape. This is really satisfying and it looks really good. I actually really, really love this. I think it's kind of classic and I finally have my checkered print vibe. Honestly, I love etching cream. It's one of those things that you can use on so many different surfaces. Just glass and mirror. <laughs> I just feel like you can use it for so many projects, so. Definitely get inspired with what you can use some etching cream for. Okay, sweet. So my last step, I have some cork here. Obviously these coasters are to protect our surfaces. Something that I thought, honestly, do you really need coasters? Cut to my living room table. We need coasters. So I'm gonna use this cork here as my base. I'm just gonna cut out a square that's gonna go on the bottom and this will protect the coaster from scratching the surface and also have some anti-slip. Um, I'm cutting it a little bit in from the edge just so that you don't really see it. And this already has stick on it. I'm just gonna make sure the back is all dry. Pack these up all cute and you have a nice custom set of coasters and you can customize them in any way so that they're really special for the person that you're gifting them to. Okay, the next project I'm so excited about, it is a palette for painting. It's reusable, it's washable. It's like those dollar store ones that you may have, literally do I have one right here? Oh, 
Oh, where is it? Oh no. Well, we really need one because I don't know where our plastic one is. But this is gonna be so much better than plastic one. We're gonna make it out of polymer clay. I'm really excited for it. I think the first plan of attack is to figure out what shape we want our palette. We can go with so many different variations. So I'm gonna sketch out some options and then maybe we can pull the office to see which ones they like best. Hello ladies. Can you vote on my palette design? <laughs> put, a little, like all of put a little check mark. <laughs> and also remember that it's like 3.07 and I wanna finish this today. So some of these choices will it's affect- It's complicated option. <laughs> some of these choices will affect what time I get to go home today. That's my vote too. I guess I get to vote too. <laughs> this is what I would pick. <laughs> I think you should do like an old school traditional style one. Fair. But make it like, I don't know, look like organic and handmade. Okay, you organic. You should put a finger hole in it. Okay. Like here. <laughs> <laughs> and then you should make all the little dippies like this, like random. Okay. Like the finger hole is one of the dippies just with a hole through it. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 that's smart. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Justin. Can you vote? Let's, let's say yes. Okay. Nice. Nick? Cool. All right, it must have been like a long shot. Sorry, can you repeat <laughs> the question? <laughs> can you make some guesses for me? Or some picks? Finger holes? <laughs> Finger hole. For the paint palette. Dirty mine. Oh, I'm gonna go with uh, this one. Wow. Oh. Okay, well, I'm choosing this one. Thanks. Enjoy. Okay, and I, I think I get to make some of the final choices here. I'm gonna work backwards, because I would vote this, but it's not gonna win. So I might vote this. In which case, I feel like I either need to do this one or this one, and I think it's gonna be this one. And I think I, I guess I'll join everybody else and say no finger hole. Let's make this thing to the sculpt. So we have some sculpty here. First step is you gotta warm it up, which is honestly the worst part. It takes muscles that I don't have. Pepper. Madame. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Say when. <laughs> Thank you. So we figured this out a while back. We did a DIY trying to figure out how to get that speckled look, because I think it's the iron in the clay in like traditional pottery, something like that. You guys will let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong, I'm sure you will. But we were wondering how with polymer clay we could get this similar kind of look. So we tested a bunch of options like splattering paint. I forget some of the other ones, but the one that we ended on was cracked pepper. So it's kind of a go-to now. It's gonna take me a minute to roll out. And then we're going to cut out the shape that you desire. From there it took me a minute to figure out what the best process is, but eventually I figured out that just pressing in your finger to make any of your indents is going to be the best way. I was trying to push the clay and I just found that it was easier to do little indents. So lots of dabbing and eventually, after a little while, you'll have your shape. Guess what I forgot that I put in here while I was sanding. This really is the perfect little drawer except for the fact that you're gonna forget about it. I was literally just like, I'm thirsty. I could use some tea. Yeah, you could, girl. And it's in a drawer. I put the tea in the drawer. Why did you put the tea in the drawer? Because I was sanding. I didn't want anything to get in here. It's actually the perfect size. Good hack. I'm definitely glad I went with the organic shape because then I do not have to be as precise, and the pepper, we can bring that back in. Normally you'd kind of do it as a last step, but obviously we were having a little fun earlier. Um, you bring in your pepper and we can just push that in. And this is also very forgiving when you're using clay because now I feel like it hides my little finger indents even more. Now, of course, we just need to bake it. I'd say this is about half inch, so maybe I'll put this in for 30 minutes. Okay, so I left that in for about 35 minutes. It's pretty solid now. It's already cooled a little bit too because you're gonna not want to put glaze on until it's a little bit hardened. And honestly, since I have this here, I'm gonna just put a couple feet on it 
so that I have a nice little raised moment. Oh my God, we'll cut out some organic shapes. Organic shape, organic shape. Cutting out an organic shape. Anyways, I have my Sculpty Glaze here. I'm just gonna use this to coat. So this is a polymer clay, which means it's basically plastic, which means that it should re like resist any kind of water or paint. But I think this is just gonna really make sure that it doesn't dye any colors. So yeah, this is a good way to see if my paint tray works. Paint it on nicely. Okay, so once I have a nice even coat, I can let this dry. If I wanna add another coat, I can. I just wait 30 minutes. But either way, definitely wanna package this with some paint brushes. You can even package it with some watercolor paints or other paints. And I think you have such a beautiful little gift here. I kinda wanna keep this. This is mine now. I mean, what? I'm definitely gifting it to somebody. Oh, hello there. Welcome to my kitchen set. For this idea, we're going to upcycle a frame, get elevated a little bit, and I think this idea is smart because this is basically what my mom asks me for every single year. She's like, remember that picture? Can you print it out and give it to me as a gift? Whether it's like Mother's Day or Christmas. Sorry, mom. I don't know why. I'm like outing. I feel like I'm outing you. So the first thing we're gonna do is I have two picture frames here. They came in a set at the thrift store. All these frames are thrifted. And I'm actually going to take the glass out of one because I wanna do, it's like the document style where it's see-through because I just think that that, again, elevates a picture frame when it has like the glass on glass look. Do you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Great, we're gonna use this glass. We can put, put you to the side there. And then I'm gonna take out the glass on this one. I don't need these cardboard back pieces. And um, we're gonna also set aside that glass. And all we're gonna do here is take our handy dandy drill. Oh my God, why that was like, that was dumb. You can't do the beauty guru moment when you have a drill, that's wrong. So yeah, let's just go an inch in. I think that's gonna look best here. Now to attach the chain, I'm going to be using a little oilet like this, a little oilet screw. And I tested this, it worked. I have a really, really, really small drill bit and we're just gonna drill into this tin here. Where are my safety goggles? Thanks, Nina. You know, just don't wanna damage my eye holes. I heard I need them. With my holes made, I can go ahead and screw in my eyelid. Very nice. Now you can tell they're a little loose here. I have my hot glue gun. I'm gonna use it in a second, so I'm not gonna use it just yet, but we will glue these in position when we glue in the glass too. Then we just go ahead and add our chain with some jump rings to our eyelids. Boom. Surgery complete. Half completed. Okay, oh my God. Oh, very cute. Okay, with our little chain on, this just, I think, you know, elevates it and gives us a place to hang it. A good hack is using, you know those like picture hanging kits, they always come with gold nails. Use those to hang it and then you have like matching gold. Or you could obviously like spray paint, but. Okay, so now we're taking the glass. This is why we need two pieces of glass so that we can create that like floating document look. So. In goes the one piece of glass. And for the photo part of this, I'm going to use the Instax Link Wide Smartphone Printer. It's new, it's really one of a kind. It's really cool because it prints out the widest photos in the Instax lineup, which is great for my landscape frame here. The printer is really portable, sleek, and it comes in two colors, ash white and mocha gray. And you can connect to the printer using the free Instax Link Wide app, which is available on iOS and Android. And there you can use over 30 editable templates so you can create everything from greeting cards to invitations to of course, editing your pictures. Okay, I'm gonna print this cutie photo of my family. We actually took this when my parents were selling the house. My sister and I kind of organized a photo shoot. And I really like this app because I can just reframe within the app. I don't need to like crop it in a separate app beforehand. Easy to connect via Bluetooth. 
easy to print, and we'll have our, we'll have our picture. Okay, I have my second piece of glass clean here. I'm going to take my glue gun, which is still warm. Thank you, glue gun. Oh my God, can you pick a fam? Family. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little tube, tube, bead, some glue on the bottom, just a little bit of top. I'm gonna not touch the back of the film because I don't want anything funky to happen. And then I'm just gonna make sure I center it here. I think this is just gonna look so like modern and sleek in my floating glass picture frame. And then we can just slide in our glass and I'm doing like the one piece of glass is in front of my little eyelets, the back piece of glass is behind them. And then I would do this in the set and you can go ahead, not hang them up in your house, okay. Wait, remember I was like, you, need, you should use a nail. I guess gift it with the nail because this is a gift. But if you're putting it in your own house, use the gold nails or gift it with a little gold nail. Um, I think doing this in a set is really cute. And I, lo I love this. I was actually meaning to do this for like my basement area, so I'm gonna take these home. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, I'm really excited for this DIY because we're gonna start off with some herb infused olive oil. Now, in my research, there's like no clear way to do this and very, very much contradictory information. These people are saying don't use fresh herbs because then it introduces water into your oil and then there might be botulism. <laughs> but then also nobody's telling you how to make it with dried herbs. So we're gonna give it a shot with dried herbs. My bottles are currently being sanitized. I've been boiling them in water. Um, and I have my dried herbs here from the bulk store. And we have a extra light olive oil, which is going to be our base. So this is a really easy recipe. Honestly, I've never done it before. We're gonna taste test after, see if this even works out or if I need to tell you to not try this. Oh, my bottles are done. Okay, ma'am, thank you. I'm just gonna put these on my drying rack. So with my saucepans here, I'm just gonna add about a cup of oil because I know that's how much my little jars carry. And today, if you're wondering what herbs we're using, we have rosemary, basil, and garlic. Oh my God, oh my God, the feast. The feast I'm gonna have later. Um, okay, let's do, oh my God, everything is wet. Uh, everything is wet. This is a clean towel, don't you worry. Are you worried? I feel like I had, I never drink caffeine. How much caffeine is in matcha? I got, I got matcha on my outfit. A lot. There's a, there's a, there's a fair amount. What's the joke here? Hold on. There's a, there's matcha. Matcha. Matcha caffeine. Matcha caffeine and matcha? Yeah. Cause I'm feeling a little, a little too Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm such a caffeine noob. <laughs> so in my saucepans here, I'm just gonna add a cup of olive oil, because that's how much my little containers hold. <laughs> yeah, see, none of us are okay. I walked in the office today, like I came in a little late because I was at an appointment, and everybody was like, the vibes are off. And I'm like, what do you even mean? Then we discovered that our mouse trap had actually caught a mouse, so maybe that's why the vibes were off, but now my vibes are off because I drink caffeine, I think. I'm gonna chop it up to that. Chop. Chalk it up to or chop it up to? Okay, and you might be like, hey, you're making three oils, you need three pans. You're freaking right. You're so smart. <laughs> I'm gonna go get that one. Can I come into frame for a second? Yeah, come into frame. Do you just want like the photos? Yeah, just, I'll go get the other pans. Okay. I wonder if I could just do since that pan's hot, I hope you guys are cool if I just pour, I pour it in over there, okay? Um, you're definitely gonna wanna use a very light olive oil, something that doesn't have too much taste. Like I wanna use it like with bread and stuff. And I like, I love the taste of olive oil, so. Guys, we're just flying through this DIY. Is everything still recording? Like, are we good? You good? <laughs> I honestly don't think we need to be like super specific. Just like the more herbs you add, the longer you let it kind of, is it boil? It's just like, it is boiling. 
This is about a cup. I think I'm just gonna put it all in. Maybe I'll do like half. Ugh. Dried basil smells different than fresh basil. <laughs> and then we're gonna take our garlic over here. So I'm gonna get these on my stove. Kinda need a camera over there, don't I? Come with me <laughs> and you'll see some olive oil infusion. Oh, that was good. Thank you. So when I started to boil the oil and the herbs, things just went really quickly, really fast. I feel like the garlic was starting to burn. So upon further research, I realized that all we need to do is bring our oil and our herbs up to a low simmer, like just a little bit of bubble movement. And you can leave that there for about four minutes. I did four minutes and then I was like, oh my God, I do not want this garlic to burn. So I took it off of the stove. And then the next step is to use a coffee filter to strain our oils. I did this into a bowl. Just be very careful with your hands. You maybe could let it cool, but I didn't want to let it like infuse more. I didn't want it to be like strong or bitter or anything. You can also use cheesecloth as an option for some of the thicker <laughs> tick herbs. <laughs> tick herbs, not tick herbs. <laughs> okay, these turned out better than I was expecting. And the colors, I was also not expecting that. I don't think I have a funnel, so um, we're gonna get experimental here. I will be a funnel, baby. Why don't I have a funnel? Also, what I learned is that you should make more than a cup. Okay, with my first batch, which I wouldn't mix batches, but I filled them up, they look cute. All we need to do is like wrap them with some cute wrapping and make sure to label them. Uh, I would say store these in the fridge because they're not in like amber or a dark glass bottle. And I would tell somebody if you're gifting this, like let's cap it at three months. You know, it might not, it's not like, what's it called? Best before, not rotten after. You guys know that saying? Andrea's nodding, okay. That means all of you know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed these gift ideas. I think they're really smart, very personal, and easy and affordable. If you have not already subscribed, I'd love to see you here more often. You can press that subscribe button. It costs no money, but it puts a smile on our faces here at the Sawyer Girls office. Next week on the Sawyer Girls, we're bringing back That Cost How Much Holiday Decor Edition. And I think you'll be really excited about the news that we have to share. Make sure that notification bell gonna ring and we will see you there.